Hello, my crafty friends. Um, we're back with um, another video in the October One of a Kind Junk Journal Challenge with Dear Julie Julie. And today we're doing five tucks. It can be side tucks, border tucks, or top tucks. Um, so I've got I've got these five that I went ahead and made in advance, and I'll. The reason I did that was so I could glue them down, and I'll show you. I didn't want it to be a really long video, so I'll just tell you what I did. I got a piece of cardstock, and then I glued. Um, this is some um, corduroy. I glued that down, and then I glued this piece of a doily onto the back and just flipped it over like this. This one is going to go into the journal like that. This is a, is similar, um, but it will go... Um, it will go the opposite way. So I can have, I'll have one like that and one like this that are made this way. This one, I use the same kind of cardstock and some upholstery fabric and then a piece of lace that I cut out of the middle of something from something. <laughs> <coughs> this one is from a, uh, it's a lighter weight cardstock. It was from an address book, but I used um, this coffee dyed piece from a um, shower curtain, from a cotton shower curtain. And then I glued a piece of lace on here. And we're gonna do that one um, either as a top tuck or a side tuck, I haven't decided which one. This is some more of that stuff out of the address book and I just glued some denim onto it and a piece of, out of a crochet doily thing. And that will also be either a top tuck or a side tuck. And this one, is one more just like those other two except this came off of a jacket that was embroidery <coughs> excuse me and i kind of pieced it together so there'd be a little extra piece of embroidery there instead of all just on the side okay and we're going to put these um in the book let's pick them up and we'll just do them one at a time and um, the ones that are the corner, okay, not that one. Let's do this one. Okay, we're just going to glue in place. So I'm choosing the kind of heavier fabrics um, so that the glue won't go through, cause a problem when I shut the book. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is just go ahead and put the glue right down. Just like you would if it was paper. Of course, it is paper, but um, the glue, the glued part. And I'm just gonna press it down there really good, and I'm gonna put um, a couple of clamps on each side to. Hold it in place while we move on because I don't want to wait for it to completely dry before I move on to the next one. Okay, let's get those out of the way and we're just going to turn the page. We'll come back and look at that in a few minutes. Um, let's go... That one would be pretty. Can't clamp it on this side, though. I wasn't thinking about that. So we'll do it over here. That'll work just as good. This way we can go ahead and clamp it. But I've got one of those in this signature. So let's go to the back signature. It would look good on this page, too. I think it actually shows up better on this page. So let's do it on this page. And I'm doing both of these with glue. And a tuck spot, um, I'm sure most of you know what a tuck spot is and how it's different from a pocket, but I'm just going to go ahead and say it. <laughs> a tuck spot is glued. Um, now, these corner ones are glued on two sides, and there are only three sides. So they're, um, I guess they could kind of be a pocket, but, um, but, like this one, you could either glue it or staple it on two sides and leave 
two sides open or you can just do it on one side but a pocket generally has three sides that are glued down or stapled down or sewn down or whatever so that things can only go in like that now like i said these corner ones are um i guess because they only have one open side you could technically call them a pocket but i still call them a tuck spot um Okay, so now we've put um, one in here and then one in in the front. And then let's decide where we want to put this one. This one I think I'm going to sew in. And I think it'll look, I think it'll show up real pretty on that page. But let's, it would also look good on this page. Oops. see what other fabrics we can put that on I'm saving these pages for this for the stenciling and doodling um, it would look pretty on there you could also do it on the side hard to it's hard to make a decision let's put it up there okay now this one I'm gonna sew on and um, I'm gonna use this whoops this gold um, embroidery floss to sew it on so I'm gonna turn it around here There's a bunch of different ways to put them on, and this is just one of them. Um, okay, let's just go ahead and... And I'm going to go just right above this. And I don't want to make my stitches too wide apart because I want it to um, to be pretty pretty tightly sewn down. Since you're just tucking stuff into it, it's only sewn on one side. The um, there are some I guess negative aspects of doing a fabric journal and trying to treat it like it's a regular journal um one of them is that billy bands and tuck spots don't hold things quite as good as they do on paper because the um the fabric moves so easily and folds and so whatever you tuck in there you know might um might fall out because everything's moving around so much Oops. That's one reason I put paper on the back of these is to stiffen them up a little bit, hoping that that will make it work better. If not, um, you don't have to tuck stuff in them. They can just be embellishments. If you're doing a fabric journal, you can do whatever you want to with it. I'm trying to combine making a fabric journal with the Dear Julie Julie October Challenge, and so that does make it a little bit, you know, I have to do some certain things that I might not have otherwise decided to do in a fabric journal. And um, as we go, we'll see which of those things work well and which don't. <laughs> you can see my stitching's not very even.
I'm just going to tie a knot right there. Then I'm going to let um, let this dangle because I might decide to add beads or something to it. I want to leave myself as many options as possible. So, um, and that will leave me options. Okay, let's turn it around here. And you can see that one like this, you would just tuck stuff up underneath it. And um, I'm thinking if I do go ahead and sew down one side, that might make it actually work better as a tuck spot. I've got thread already right here. I could just sew down this side. But it would probably work better as a tuck spot if this side was sewn down. Okay. Well. Let's just go ahead and sew down this side. Luckily I had a little bit left. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be enough. Okay, so we're going to, whoops, let's see if I can. need a thimble. Ow. <laughs> I don't have one handy. I do have this. Um, I use it mainly to keep my needles from falling out of that little jar, but um, it will help. Well, I thought it would help. Okay. I think that <clears throat> trying to do the whole stitch at once wasn't working, so. Let's just get it done here real quick. We'll just let that hang down. Now then, <clears throat> that's a little bit more secure tuck spot. It's still not great, and that's the problem with fabric journals. So it may not get used as a tuck spot, but um, it is one. <laughs> okay, so we have two in this signature. And then, um, let's see. I think I do want to go ahead and put this on here. I can still do some stamping and uh, 
home. Okay, and this one, I'm going to do something a little bit different. And I'm going to put it down with some brads. Because I think it'll be pretty. And I'm going to do it on the side. There we go. I was about to think maybe I'd made a mistake. Decided I wanted to do it that way. Okay. Let's do one down here. Okay. Now then. Well, let's just go ahead and do, put them all through, and then I'll go to the back and um, fold them all down. I haven't ever done tuck spots with brads before, but I thought it was a cute idea. Okay. And then on this side of the page, we can, you know, cover this up with something later. Let's see if we can turn that a little bit. There we go. Okay. So there's a tuck spot on the side. Um... And then I have one more. Let's see, where do we want to put this one? Now let's do it on the gold. I think that'll be pretty on the gold. And I'm going to use the tiny attacher for this one. <laughs> and I can't, I'm out of staples. So um, I guess I'll have to get some more staples. I hope that that's ex an acceptable expense like glue is. <clears throat> but I've got, I think, three left. So we're going to use them. And I'm going to tuck it. Yep, that was it. Alrighty. So there's one here. Let's come back up here and... <laughs> Those aren't dry yet, but I think I can take the clamps off. And then, um, I may or may not tack that down with some glue. I haven't decided yet. I kind of like that it can flip up. Okay. So we've got this tuck spot and this tuck spot. We've got a lot of pages, as you can see, left to work to work on. Well, I thought I had another one in this signature, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's in the, I guess it's in this signature. Oh, paper clips coming off. 
There's one. Let's take these off. There's one, and it does the same thing. It'll flop like that, or it'll lay down there and be a tuck spot. And then, let's see. And then there's our last one. Five tuck spots. So that was fun. So go make some tuck spots and have fun in your journal. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.